Hi guys, welcome to Cumbrian Lead Outdoors and welcome to today's video. We're out once again. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> this week, the weather gods are once again not on our side. So in my last video, you will have seen us at the youth hostel at Borodal, having a walk up Castle Crag, and then Millican Dalton's Cave, which has appeared on the channel a few times. Been checking the weather all week, and yeah, today, two o'clock till four o'clock, some heavy rain comes in, double black clouds, double raindrops, all night and all morning. So once again, we're heading to another place that's been on the channel a few times that will offer us the opportunity to be able to sit out and have a crack amongst friends. And that place is Lacey's Caves. We've got Cat with us. Cat's hey. had a little break from YouTube, but she's back now as Forage for Life. And Jordy Paul and Floki, the mad Tasmanian devil. And if you just look up there, that is the abandoned house that I was looking for last time I was here. But now the foliage is cleared, you can just see the top of it. It's a lovely little walk through a woodland forest, this. it really is. Bird song's lovely, which is obviously one of the telltale signs that spring is well and truly on the way. Looking through the trees down upon the River Eden and the viaduct there. You should be able to hear the little rapids that are just approaching. So as always, come join us, myself, Kat, Paul and Floki, on a wild camp. And I hope you enjoy the video. And it looks like we've had a little bit of a landslip. Yeah, part of that wall's given away well and truly. That definitely wasn't here last time we came with the Bewley brothers. A testament to how much water we've had. You just see how full the river is, and it's uh, quite aggressive there. We've already had a few little spits of rain falling, so we've definitely made the right choice as we want to sit out. Like I say, we've got the right gear to handle being on top of the mountains, but we'd have all been sat inside our tents and shouting at each other. So. Floki's going absolutely bananas. Floki! What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, first thing Floki did was jump in big puddle. Got absolutely covered in mud. <laughs> so Paul's gonna have to clean him off when we get to the uh, when we get to the caves. And we're at that point now where we can just and so see the cave entrances. So we're not far away at all. And here we are once again at Lacey's Caves, right on the River Eden. The rain is starting to come, not heavy now, but it's definitely more consistent than it was on the walk. Beautiful, beautiful river location here. The snowdrops, you can maybe just pick up the daffodils up on the on side of the river there. Here we go. Got Jordy Paul, just cracking his first beer. Got the green and Jimmy Green. <laughs> And Kat's just having a little bit explore the caves. We haven't seen anybody else on the walk at all. We've just got some ducks just taking off from one side and landing on the other. It's nice to see that. <laughs> Beautiful lap, man. I will give you a little bit of a quick look inside the caves, but I've had two videos on this place now. So if you want a closer look, you can go and check those out, but you'll, you'll get an inkling of what it's like here, and it's pretty cool. So for now, I'm gonna put the camera down. I'm gonna go and have a beer with Cat and Paul. And yeah, I'll bring you back on and off through the evening and the, and the night to show you what goes on. We've been here for about an hour now, had a couple of beers and just a general catch up. Neither of us have seen Cat for a little while now. Um, Cat is just over there having a wander to see where she can pitch a tent. There is a pitch up top, but she was wanting to get down by the beach, which is fair enough. I have got my hammock camping gear with me. I was intending to hammock camp up the top where the Beulah brothers camped last time they were with me. Um, 
but because I'm an absolute lazy so and so, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna sleep in the same spot as I did last time. So I've got my ground tarp. I'll put that down. I've got my cocoon that would normally be around my hammock. So I'll lay that down and put my sleeping bag inside that. With it being a sand floor, I'll be comfortable and warm enough for sure. Paul has pitched his Nature Hike Cloud Peak 2 in the second room. Uh, he obviously doesn't need to peg that down, he's just using that for cover with having the dog. Um, so the plan is for now, uh, these guys are getting set up, I'm gonna put my gear down. And then we, I think with this rain, we're gonna just stay inside um, so I'll be switching to the phone from now because it picks up the low light better. We are most definitely starting to lose the light now so we've all come inside the tent. Um, myself and Jodie Paul are all set up and um, Kat's had a little bit of a mishap we're going to pop through and see Kat shortly but let's have a look at mine and Jodie Paul's set up for tonight. Paul is just setting up a little uh, hook so we can hang the light up so we've got um, an ability to see in here we've got Floki there and that's me all set up not quite as comfortable as I would normally be with a seat of summit etherlite XT extreme mat but I've got my old tarp down the snug pack cocoon and my leviathan sleeping bag inside there real term at beef and potato for tea looks like tactical duck has had or stolen, I should say, some of my Stella. He's cow tower. If you know, you know. Jet boil and all the usual gubbins there. Right, cat. Tell the ladies and gentlemen what's happened. What's happened? With your tent. Oh, um, yeah, I forgot my um, centre pole, so I can't pitch my tent, so <laughs> I'm going to have to sleep on the floor. <laughs> it's all fine. It's all good. <laughs> Jody Paul is in the second room. He's got his Nature Height Cloud Peak 2 set up, not pegged down. Um, he's got one sleeping mat on the floor opened up for Floki, and he's also in the Leviathan. Okay. Yep. Just walk through to the back room. And yeah, this is Cat set up in here. As I've brought my hammock set up, I've given Cat my. 4x4 multicam tarp. So we've adapted it and overcame. She's got a Thermarest um, Neo Air sleeping mat. And she's got a Rab Ascent 900 sleeping bag with a bloat pillar. Uh, a nice little setup for Kat in here. She'll be cosy, I reckon. Walk back through to the main room. This is living room for night. So we can see we've got our chairs all set up. We've got big light on. Get off your mother. <laughs> going crazy. And that's not a bad view, is it? That's not a bad view. So for now, we're going to sit down, have a chill out and a few beers. And I'll bring you back when it's food time. Right, it's food time. Real term at beef and potato. You know where it's at. My absolute go to, once you've had these for camping on the mountains, you will not go back. You've heard it all before, but I'm going to do it again. Mm. So good. We're having the cracking night in the cave. Absolute laugh a minute. We've had some music going. We've got a fire going. This is what it's all about. Mm. So, I'm gonna eat myself away and finish my food very shortly. Before I do that, I'll give you one last look around and then it's bedtime. Kat has also got a food on. What are you having tonight, Kat? Um, we are having, what are we having? Um, sticky ginger beef mince with sesame noodles and wild garlic and ground elder, which I foraged. <laughs> that does sound good. What did you have for tea, Paul? Chicken, chicken and rice. Where's the carver? Wayfarers. Wayfarers. That's it, That's was it, was it good? Yeah, Floki's had his tea. 
as you can see we are having a small fire We've got a little bit of wood prep there that will all be gone by morning and you will not know we've had that like i say we're having a good laugh in the cave i'm going to have my food and then the camera's going down we're going to enjoy some more music and a good laugh and then it'll be bedtime so i will see you in the morning slept surprisingly well but it wasn't comfortable um, woke a couple of times three in five in the morning but basically slept from about ten half ten until half six so that's not too bad all things considered but breakfast time So I'm here to finish this. I can hear Paul and Floki getting up, so everyone will be up soon. Not a bad view to wake up to at all. Time to get packed up. Look at this, we've got two swans coming past us. That's really nice to see. Beautiful and tranquil this morning. Nice and calm with the bird song and the sound of the river. Absolutely banging. And that's everyone up. Breakfast, coffee, and packed away. You see there, that's where we had the little fire last night. There's no trace left there. See just the last few bits and bobs put away. It is a little dark in here, but you can see that's where I slept last night. That's the rubbish bag ready to go. How'd you enjoy the cave, Paul? It was good. Yeah, it was really good. Good laugh. What about you, Cat? What do you think of Lacey's caves? Cat's got, Cat's got dirty hands. It's any problem with maths, isn't it? Yeah. You enjoy yourself, though? I did, yeah. Yeah, cool place. Recommend. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah good time was had by all. A nice little... Uh, Covered camp so we could all sit out. It did put a bit of water down last night, but it is not as bad as forecast this morning. But nevertheless, we all had a good time. So thank you very much for clicking on the video. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we all have. So once again, until next time, stay safe, much love from a Cumbrian lad. <laughs>